Hello everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial for your world. Today we have a very simple, cheap, and reliable micro farm. This thing is going to get you a ton of food and a ton of dye as well. And there is quite a few pros to this design. Um, you know, first and foremost, it is extremely small and cheap as well, but I shouldn't need to point out those things. There is a crop mode and also a double tall flower mode in case you want to get a bunch of dyes or you want to get a bunch of food. And it's also 100% bone meal efficient. So this thing will always bone meal your, your crops three times, making sure that your crops get to maximum growth before harvest them. And that way you're not wasting any bone meal, which is a pretty huge um, problem on bone meal, or sorry, on bedrock, as skeletons are actually pretty rare because of, you know, the spawning algorithm and all that stuff. So bone meal efficiency is the main factor that I was really going for with designing this farm. So let's actually check out how this thing functions. Again, there is two different modes to this farm, one for crops and one for dyes using the two high flowers. So what we can do right now is we can flick that lever and basically just crouch right here, look at this block and just start planting our crops. And as you can see, we are getting a ton of potatoes. We can also plant down seeds as well to get wheat. We can plant down carrots to get a whole bunch of carrots. Or uh, what we can do is turn this thing off, flick that lever, plant down our, you know, sunflower or whatever else two high flowers we have, and then get a buttload, an absolute buttload of uh, yellow dye. I mean, check out how many flowers we're getting. It's too many. <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> Seriously, you, yeah, that's, that's too many flowers. Get rid of those things. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much all there is for a demonstration. Other than that, it's just your basic micro farm. And uh, again, this is for Bedrock Edition. If you guys are playing on Console Edition or Java Edition, I have another tutorial that works just fine on those platforms that has all the same pros as this one. And uh, you can check that out in the link in the description or the link up above for your convenience. So before we start actually building this thing, after I do the tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys a couple different designs for micro farms on Bedrock Edition that work just as well. They just don't have quite as many features as this one does. So if you wanna see a couple of different smaller designs, then uh, stick around for a little bit. All right, so let's throw this farm together, shall we? So this right here is where your crops are gonna be planted, obviously just a piece of dirt, and this is gonna be your floor layer. And uh, you do need this air gap in front of this uh, dirt block so that this sticky piston out the backside can actually push it forward and retract it with no problems. So from right here, place down a solid block, put a lever right there, piece of redstone dust, normal block, sticky piston right here with a block on his face, air gap, and then a repeater with two ticks on it, and then just a normal block right there and a normal block right there. Then place one piece of glass and a water source right there and till that dirt and that is your entire first layer complete. So things only go up from here. Grab your six dispensers and put them in place right here in these locations and that one is backwards, put that one in the correct orientation, and then swing around the backside, you want five blocks in these locations right here, and then seven redstone dust in each of these locations, including on top of that dispenser. Now you want some blocks right here to cut off these connections, and then a temporary block right here, sticky piston facing backwards, observer facing downwards right there, a temporary block right there, and then an observer facing upwards, you can now remove that block, Put a lever right here, and that is your farm completely complete. Yes, completely complete. <laughs> so power this lever. It looks backwards, but yeah, power it, and then you can power this, and your farm is completely done. So you might notice something a little bit strange about this farm. This repeater right here is on two ticks. We can flick the lever, and sometimes this stays out longer than it should. This farm over here is also on two ticks, and you can see that this one works normally. So... That's a little bit weird, and welcome to Bedrock. <laughs> uh, what you can do if that's happening is just put that on one tick, and then it will work just fine. And as you can see, it is functioning just fine, and uh, we can actually plant some crops on this and demonstrate it working. Obviously, you need to put bone meal in all of the dispensers, um, otherwise it's not going to work, but I shouldn't have to say that. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, it's working just fine. We can also do the sunflower just like the other one, and it's it's honestly pretty awesome. I really like this little farm. So about those other micro farms I was talking about, here they are. These are ultra simple, ultra small, and you know, pretty much just the simplest things you've ever seen. You should be able to build this just by looking at it, so I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to build them. And uh, let's run through these. This one looks like a scorpion, but it's actually surprisingly friendly. 
and a super duper resource light as well just using two observers which is not a hard thing to get and uh the only problem with this one is that it is not 100 percent bone meal efficient you can see that it is pretty good it is getting us taters but uh it doesn't always bone meal them three times before harvesting sometimes it'll do one bone meal two bone meals and that isn't enough to get them to full growth um, which is how you actually get a profit from your potatoes. Uh, this one is 100% efficient, but it doesn't have an option for the two tall flowers. Um, so if you can, definitely build this one over this one. It's slightly larger, but only requires a couple more resources, mainly just a repeater, which again, isn't really hard to get. And as you can see, this one works very well as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about that one. However, if you do have all the resources, I would suggest building this one because it does have all of the functionality that you would really want to with a micro farm. So really no reason not to build this one. I already showed you how to build that. And here is how you build this one. You can literally build it just by looking at it. And uh, I guess, again, with all of these farms, you may have to tinker around with the repeater timings, one or two ticks, I guess, depending on where you build it, but that's not a huge deal. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. And maybe even consider turning on notifications if you guys want to see future videos in your notifications. And uh, yeah, maybe let me know down in the comment section as well what you think about this farm and any possible improvements or problems you have with it. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you down in the comment section and in the next video. And then there was a bunch of clicking.